I'm Danny Epperson at the Commodore Theater in downtown Portsmouth. Thanks for joining me for WHRO Cinema 15. Get ready for a movie that is written by a fascinating woman about a fascinating woman. It's 1977's Julia. Julia is based on a chapter from Lillian Hellman's memoir, Pentimento. It tells the story of the struggling writer's relationship with a lifelong friend named Julia, who fought against the Nazis in the years leading up to World War II. Jane Fonda stars as writer Lillian Hellman, Vanessa Redgrave as Julia, and Jason Robards plays Hellman's mentor and partner, Dashiell Hammett. In the opening scene, you'll see a shadowy figure in a rowboat smoking a cigarette. That is the real 71-year-old Lillian Hellman. As a playwright, she had many successes on Broadway, including Toys in the Attic, The Children's Hour, and The Little Foxes. Hellman was romantically involved with Dashiell Hammett for over 30 years. He was the author of the classic detective novels The Maltese Falcon and The Thin Man. It's almost impossible not to notice how much Jane Fonda smokes during this movie. Lillian Hellman was known to hold her own drinking and smoking alongside the other notoriously reckless writers of her day, Hammett, Hemingway, and Faulkner. Hemingway, huh? It's believed that Nick and Nora Charles of the Thin Man series were inspired by Dashiell's real-life relationship with Lillian. The film Julia was a critical success in 1977, it was nominated for 11 Academy Awards and won three. Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Supporting Actress, and Best Supporting Actor. Best play anyone's written in a long time. This was also the first of three Best Actress nominations in a row for Fonda, winning in 1978 for her work in Coming Home. And be on the lookout for a young Meryl Streep. She makes her motion picture debut. I'll be back after the film, but for now, hit the lights and enjoy Julia. That was a powerful film. And I think I mentioned that Hellman was a smoker. Oh boy. Faye Dunaway and Barbara Streisand were originally offered the role of Lillian Hellman, but they turned it down. The producers were worried about casting Fonda and Redgrave together because they were both politically outspoken. Some would say that made them perfect for their roles because they were taking on Nazi Germany. In the movie, Julia names her daughter Lily after Lillian Hellman, and in real life, Jane Fonda named her daughter Vanessa after her co-star Vanessa Redgrave. Screenwriter Alvin Sargent won an Oscar for his adaptation of Lillian Hellman's story. He also won for his screenplay Ordinary People. But I find it fascinating that he went on to write three of the Spider-Man movies. I'm Danny Epperson, and that's all for now. I'll see you next week for WHRO Cinema 15 and another classic movie.